So today I just wanted to take a look at the film The Future or El Futuro. This is an Italian-English film. The majority of the actors within the film do speak Italian and it is a subtitled film. So honestly the only reason I watched this film is because Rutger Hauer is in it. I think he is a good actor and I mostly just admire him because of his role that he played in Blade Runner, truth be told. So the whole premise of the film is you basically have a young girl who becomes the paid companion of this aged actor, El Machiste, who is played by Rutger Hauer. We soon discover that he is blind. So how she came into this whole situation is not necessarily of her choosing. I guess you could say it was more of a, I guess, one of those is issues of mm, desperation or survival. So she and her brother, along with their parents, were, I believe, in a car wreck. The two parents died, and the two younger siblings are living off of their father's pension. The older sister, Bianca, who is 18, is obviously in charge of the, the finances as well as managing her brother, in addition to completing her school, and she also has to get a job because they're Pension is obviously not enough to keep their heads above water. So she takes a job at a salon. She washes people's hair. Her younger brother Thomas volunteers at a gym where he meets two shady men who quickly move into the house with them. And really it isn't too long before both men sleep with the older sister. So obviously it's not necessarily that they were interested in her. I guess more that she was being auditioned for this role as the, the paid companion. She does agree to this because obviously there is money involved, but the whole goal here is they're actually wanting to find this actor's safe because apparently he does not uh, safeguard his money in the bank. He actually keeps it in the home. So she is to find out where this safe is so that they can rob him. So very early on in the film we discover that he is blind. Between Bianca, I guess you could say there's somewhat of a confused romance. I think it's more the issue that she looks up to him and sees him as a father figure and she confuses that with the the closeness of her position with him. So she kind of develops an emotional attachment. Eventually at some point in the film she does tell him about this obviously he shrugs her off and he's like well whatever you know and I guess it's more at this point in time that she kind of just wakes up and she realizes you know all around she's just being used very much the film in my opinion is a coming of age story not necessarily a a becoming of womanhood but necess but more the veil of childhood in a sense lifting from the eyes and entering true adulthood, not necessarily discovering the world for the horrible place it is, but obviously realizing what it can be, but also realizing that you can strive for better for yourself. Just because you are stuck in a certain situation does not mean you have to settle for it and stay in the mud. You can actually rise above that and make something of yourself. And obviously, she does get away from the situation. She gets rid of the two shady characters. And the film is actually very much told from the perspective of the older Bianca. So we do see that she did make something of herself. And originally, the first time I saw this movie, I thought it was very boring, mostly because it's not really the type of film that I watch. But once again, I pretty much just wanted to watch it because of... Rutger Hauer, and I was just kind of curious as to how the material would have been treated. It's definitely not a smutty film, even though it could have very easily taken that tur turn, but it does not go that way at all. There definitely is a story being told here. There is good character development. You also have kind of like this back background issue between Bianca and her brother, Thomas, where they kind of like discuss that they no longer see the world 
the same after the accident. And I guess you could say it's the trauma or maybe it's just kind of the the way they now perceive the world around them. To some degree they kind of mm, tend to see things as more more bright or they have some sort of a, a light sensitivity. So there's there's definitely that psychological aspect in there that the the filmmakers are asking you to to comprehend but find your own way of relating to it. They're not they're not going to spoon feed that information to you, which I really appreciated because you can kind of find your own way of incorporating this into the film and making use of that information. But for the most part, yes, it, it is an interesting film. It's a very well told story. But you know, if you're just there for the TNA, you know, it's it's Rutger Hauer. He's an older man. <laughs> you know, if, if you're just gonna look at the younger girl, okay, fine, whatever. But you know, there are definitely um, racier films that you could watch if, if that's what you're looking for. But, um, yes, yeah, so definitely very well told, uh, very well presented, uh, very tastefully and respectfully handled the material was, in my opinion. But that is pretty much all I have for you guys today, and I will talk to you later.